Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading and I'm doing it from February to March 2021 for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Aquarius and pull your overarching oracle card for the next month or two. So what do we have for Aquarius? Please Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Aquarians, thank you. February to March 2021 in terms of money and career. Thank you very much. Okay, two cards. I have the dragon, strength and wisdom. Always an empowering card, that one. Feeling empowered. And we have water. Emotions are at their peak. So that might resonate for some of you, Aquarius. But you have the strength and wisdom to deal with any emotional situations. And that's what you're being told there. Okay, what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you. Thank you. It's an interesting one, this Aquarius, but it's come out by the angels. So we have let go of guilt. So when you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. And trust that God loves you, whatever God means to you, loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of being, instead of berating yourself for them. You know, if you're kicking yourself for something or feeling responsible for something or... Um, I mean, you kind of know what I'm saying here, Aquarius. Something to do with emotions being at their peak or... The message is let it go. Let it go. It's not serving you right now. Or it's not serving you anymore. Okay, what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you. So your overarching energy, oh wow, <laughs> I've got the Knight of Coins, Aquarius. I mean, that is beautiful energy. Very, very good in terms of money and career. So Knight of Coins is your overarching energy of the month. Okay, so I'm going to pull five cards. The first card is your current challenge or issue in money and career. Second card is what's going for you. Third card is essentially what's going against you or any issues or any obstacles to overcome. Fourth card is advice from spirit and the final card is the future outcome. So we have the three of wands but it's in the challenge position. What's going for you? We have the two of swords. The seven of swords is Any issues to overcome or what's going against you? Queen of Cups, Aquarius, is advice from spirit. And we have the lovers in your outcome. Bottom of the deck, we have the moon energy here. Okay, so there's definitely this issue of emotions are at their peak. The message of let go of guilt here. Now, obviously with the Queen of Cups, the lovers being in your reading, you know, I am looking at this from a money and career point of view, but it could be something that's affecting a relationship here. Um, you know, something that's happened in terms of your money, career, finances, Aquarius, that may have affected your relationship. But even so, there's definitely this issue of you are going to see change. You know, the February, March reading, the, the overarching energy for your, your sign is the Knight of Coins. Um, the Knight of Coins is somebody making you an offer 
bringing in some kind of opportunity for you, uh, a solid offer, a concrete opportunity, something that you can build on, something that will grow, something that won't crumble beneath your feet. Um, it promises long-term security, stability, should you keep taking action towards this opportunity. And it's an opportunity that brings change, positive change with the Knight of Pentacles or the Knight of Coins. It's not always the fastest night, so you might have been waiting for it. But nevertheless, that when he arrives, it is absolutely something worth waiting for. So very beautiful energy there's i mean this could be job offers contracts new business clients call it what you will but it's coming in and there's definitely this energy of it's bringing positive change the message is you're going to get back on track what this opportunity will do is allow you to get back on track that could affect your romance love relationship here so you know i'm just putting that as a side message as well aquarius the Knight of Coins is such a beautiful, beautiful energy. It's a, an energy of money coming in, abundance coming in, uh, opportunity coming in, growth coming in. It's a very beautiful energy indeed. You know, you might have been working towards manifesting this new opportunity and it feels like a new opportunity, a new vision. But you've been waiting. You know, you've been waiting for it to come in. You've been taking action and there's an element of waiting, but there's a message here. Your ships are coming in. They're just not, they're just not quite there yet with this card. And that might well be the process that you're going through February to March with it resulting in finally, you can see the results of your labor, the opportunity coming. So there is growth, there is expansion coming here with the Three of Wands. There is the first signs of success coming by the actions that you've been taking. But it's not quite there yet, but it's coming. There are signs, there are good signs coming your way. So really beautiful energy. For some of you, this could be to do with some overseas opportunity. And you don't see it. That's why you feel stuck. You know, this, this two of swords, yeah, it can be about decisions. It can be about weighing things up. But it can also be about feeling at an impasse in some way. Because I just don't have the clarity yet in terms of how things are going to unfold. And you don't have the clarity. I mean, that's what, that's, that's what the cards are pretty much saying. You know, you're waiting for, you know, that there may well be some signs that you're beginning to see that are looking really good. Maybe some feedback or some kind of like, um, you know, positive energy, you know, whatever it is, but you're just waiting. It feels like you're waiting for something to happen. And there's the lack of clarity here, which I completely understand, Aquarius, which isn't always good for your energy because you like to be clear on everything. You like to be, you know, have the full picture to see how something's going to pan out. I understand that. This can be a little bit frustrating for you, the Two of Swords, but it feels it's just wait until it appears and that's what you're being told seven of swords and um, what's going the issue or what's going against you i mean yes this can be a card of of yeah it might well be something that you've been secretly working towards here i mean this is aquarian energy of secretly putting some kind of plan into action so you might have been keeping your cards close to your chest or you don't want to get other people's hopes up certainly in terms of love romance relationships um, you know, in, in terms of getting opportunity, you know, if you're seeing some signs, it might well be that you're just keeping your cards close to your chest. It's what I feel like the most here. I mean, this is a strategy card. It's secretly putting some kind of strategy into place, not wanting to reveal everything right now because you don't know how something's going to pan out. It might well be if you're already employed somewhere and you're going for a new opportunity or you're setting up your own business or there's a business partnership coming your way um, or promise of that. You don't want to tell people about it because it could put at risk your current job. You know, it's that kind of energy. So I just see that for you in this card, Aquarius, because it is your kind of energy. The, the Queen of Cups, the advice from Spirit, this, I mean, you know, sometimes I see, I mean, she is somebody who offers, she can offer you something, something that brings 
joy and happiness, you know, so I can sometimes associate her with HR as well, you know, the people person of a company. So male or female energy, you might be meeting with somebody like that HR, the people person, you know, that kind of energy. Or it could be in terms of, of you know, somebody who you bond with. I mean, I'm seeing it with the lovers as well, because this could well be, you know, an offer to do with a partnership, you know, can be business partnerships, um, collaborations, teamwork, that kind of energy. So for some of you, that might resonate, you know, some hoping some kind of partnership or, you know, business, you know, gets off the ground or project, call it what you will, because this can be about the duality of, of two people who who come together you know successfully so this can be about partnerships collaborations um teamwork that kind of energy so you might well be feeling that here as well the other thing that i'm feeling uh, with the lovers card because it's a gemini energy aquarius um communication communication from somebody because you know Gemini is the great communicator so the mercurial element of this um, the intellectual element of this as well with the lover's card uh, somebody who is 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 communicating with you bonding with you seeing you know like-minded intellect you know that kind of energy visions you might well be talking to somebody with regard to that in terms of, of bonding with somebody you know I definitely get that kind of energy, some kind of positive communication as a result of that too. And the moon is is the card of, of, of hidden blessings. You don't know. You don't have the full picture. And it is going to be frustrating. I definitely feel for you guys, like I said, you like the clarity. You like to have the perspective. And the moon is just reminding you, it's a card of Pisces. Even though you don't see the big picture, the universe does. It's what I always say. Um... This is a card of hidden blessings. Trust your intuition. Follow your intuition. Because that's how angel spirits guides God, the universe, the divine is speaking through you, guiding you forward. In areas where you don't have the full picture, you know, the moon in Libra, two of swords, you don't have the full picture and how something's going to pan out. But you're secretly hoping, secretly hoping that it is going to come off. And I definitely feel for some of you there are hidden blessings coming this month. Maybe with some positive communication that's resulting in some kind of offer. I love this because this is the overarching energy, the knight of coins, the offer, the opportunity in whatever context as I've, as I've described. So be careful of the emotions here. Keep your head. Know that you are strong enough. This is a recognition of your strength. The energy of your strength your wisdom you know to come through the other side of this and don't blame yourself again if again in terms of love romance relationships if there's something that you've been feeling guilty about there's a message of no don't focus on that there is definitely an energy of the offer the opportunity is coming there's waiting here but it's resulting in this the arrival of an offer okay so what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Final message for Aquarius. Yeah, we have the panda, balance. Ask how to bring balance to the situation and into your heart. And we have the penguin, diamond light activation. Light activations and new energies are coming your way. Be open to receive and welcome them in. I mean, you know, this is beautiful absolutely beautiful things are being activated behind the scenes behind the scenes hidden blessings trust surrender trust go with it just allow yourself to be taken you know forward by your intuition universal energy and the message is just trust and it will result in maybe i'm definitely feeling some kind of communication bonding between two people partnerships collaborations um yeah very very beautiful energy so i hope you enjoyed the reading aquarius if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month for you all month or two and i will see you next time thank you